Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl's new program and I'm your friend that tells you the truth about your makeup. So today we're actually doing a Bantu Dance tutorial. This was kind of requested based on a brand's makeup tutorial look that I did. So let me just go ahead and let you know how I started with freshly moisturized hair. And I started with the part a little bit behind my ear for the front section. And I'm just going to channel this to take that all the way over to the other side of my head. Now you see that I'm using a bigger comb, right? And that's just for the front section only, you know, as just a start off. Now I'm just going to try to gather the half parts of my hair with hair ties. I got those from the dollar store for $2. I'm not using elastic bands because I have a relaxed hair and that's going to be like a suicide mission. So I'm trying my best to use a smaller comb now, you know, um, with smaller teeth, obviously, to get like a straighter part for that first section. So for that one, you don't have to worry about making triangles. And I just want the parts to look neat. They don't necessarily have to be the straightest. They just have to be clean. No zigzags, no up and downs, no none of that. Now for the first, this second one, you can see that I have the base of the triangle that I'm trying to make at the back, to the back right and for the subsequent one you're gonna see what I'm gonna do so you just gather that with a hair tie not too tight guys because you know you don't try to get a headache <laughs> and for the next one the middle one is not necessarily a triangle as you can see the tip of it is basically like a square it's straight so we're going to make the base of the triangle to the front of our head, right? Why am I so happy? What's wrong with me? And then we move on to the other one. And I'm just going to be repeating myself, guys. The base of the triangle is going to be to the back of your head. But the only thing that you're making is just another straight line. This one doesn't necessarily have to be a triangle. Try my best to make it into one, but that wasn't working. So that's what it's gonna look like, guys. And you can see that I wasn't satisfied. Maybe the other two parts on opposite ends weren't matching up. So I was trying to fix that. So just do whatever you can to just make it look as neat as possible. Remember, if you're going to get your hair done by yourself, at least make it look good. At least make it look like a professional video. So guys, I know that we said that we started with freshly moisturized hair, but I'm just using a bit of my do grow to put at the ends of my hair because the ends tend to get a bit dry and I don't want any dry or brittle hair going in my protective style, right? I want it to be fully moisturized. Now guys, we're using Shannon Jam to put at the roots of our hair for each section. You know, trying to get that together as much as possible and this is where the style is really going to start coming together i know i look a little bit crazy right now but don't worry about that so i was trying to use a big brush to try to brush it in but obviously that was not working so i went back for my edge brush aka a toothbrush to gather that section together to make it look neat and nice and clean i started to get so annoyed by everything that was in the way that I decided to, you know, just gather everything else with one big hair tie. So guys, do that. Just save yourself time and do that. So guys, I know the style is coming together. I mean, I promise you're going to get a little bit excited. But for the love of everything that is good, do not, and I mean do not under any circumstances, catch up. We call it catch up in Jamaica. I don't know what you guys call it. But don't catch up your hair tie because you will regret it. Also remove them edges so you can lay them. There's a little bit of a zigzag looking thing going on right there. I did not like that. So I went ahead to remove that before putting the edge control or the Shannon Jam, whatever you want to call it, at the base of my hair. And then you know what I move on to brush that in. Same process to gather the hair. And remember guys this is the base section so you have to get it as perfect as possible because everybody will be looking at those 
part, okay? Everyone. And it kind of got a bit annoying because y'all are gonna see how one, that same piece that I just took out got back into my hair again. So I just tried my best to use a comb to remove it. Don't let it frustrate you guys. After doing only two sections, you can see that your girl was tired. But I got it done. I'm using Ultra Braids in the color 33. They have three different sections in one pack. I'm using one of those sections, splitting it into two. But in fact, later on, I actually split it in three because I realized that that was too big. So, as you can see, guys, I'm trying to put it in my hair right now, I'm trying to attach it from the root. But that is not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. Look, it keeps sliding off. It, it was the piece was too big. I don't know. I'm thinking that is because the hair is in the way, which you should get the hair out of the way so that you can focus on that one piece. But the hair was not the problem, guys. It was actually the braiding being too big and the method that I was trying to use to put it in. But I'm trying again, but I just was not getting it look at that fail after fail that's it with this hair so you just have to keep trying especially if you're not used to doing your own hair or you can't do hair you just have to keep trying now i was trying to twist it on from the root but that was just that was not working guys look at that slide right off every time Went off camera to get it done because <laughs> your girl is slow because I can't do hair. So, guys, what I did is try to plait it in from the root, and then afterwards I started twisting it because I realized that because I can't do the twist, that was not working out, and I had to get the style done some way, somehow. And you can see I'm putting a little bit of edge control on that. Wait, y'all thought I was gonna leave y'all hanging? Nope, y'all got wrong. So we're doing an up close one for this again. I put the braids over, I put the braiding here over my strand of hair and then I start flattening it in. And then a little bit after, I do like two and then I start twisting it. I put a little bit of edge control on it. Um, I hope now I zoomed in a bit, you guys can see a lot better. Then I start twisting it anti clockwise and I start wrapping it around as you would do your bantu nose right and you're just placing it like strategically i advise that you guys try your best to like twist it out before you try to wrap it around or else it's gonna pull out okay guys so we're just going over the method of twisting again as you can see i'm twisting it in the other direction as in anti-clockwise and i'm trying to place the braid i'm trying to place that twist over the braid that I made so it looks I don't know how to explain it it looks like a bantu knot it doesn't look like flat wrapped around yeah so I want to see the spirals so I'm placing that oh see patience Jedi you guys have to really have patience when you do this style I'm just placing as I said over the braid so the braid is not noticeable. I don't want to see that. I want to see the spirals for the knots. That's it cool. Have y'all subscribed yet? How y'all gonna get this far and not subscribe? Seriously, click the button and the bell. Thanks. You finish that off with a hair tie that you apply. Well, not a plan that you twist around the knot twice and as you can see i'm pleased with how it's looking so far so we're moving on to the next one same process you plait in the braiding hair with your actual hair as a third strand use edge control as much as you want to prevent like stray waves so the knots are seamless and nice looking and as you can see guys, it really does require patience because it keeps unraveling. But you just keep twisting that around until you know you start covering majority, not all of the braid of the cover, but majority of it to make the knots look nice and clean. 
Right, guys. So if you need to fix that, don't be afraid to play around with it and figure out how you want it or how you want to see it or how you like it. Everybody is different. So you see me putting like head control at the end there to help me finish twisting out the hair so it doesn't like lay flat across once I'm done. Did I mention what it is too tight? Guys, I feel like I need to stress this again. You will regret it and you'll have the biggest headache ever. Please do not do this too tight, guys. This is a section of me showing you guys how I split the hair in three. So I split it in half and then I did three quarters of one piece as one strand and two quarters of another piece as one strand and then the quarter that was left of all I just made it into like I just put those together and I realize now that you can just split the hair in three and not do all of that <laughs> but guys this is just me showing you again the hardest parts of the head to do is going to be the middle part trust and believe me this part got a little bit frustrating because after getting all of those four it still slid out of my hair guys so patience is the virtue you need for this style promise but i did the front first so i could get a feel of what the style would look like on me and then that's when i started doing the back so this took me about uh, what two hours so hopefully you guys are quicker than me and you're able to be much much faster the good thing about how this is done too is that you can remove it and then put it back very easily so guys here we have the final look i added some you know little butterfly clips because i was trying to do like a y2k aesthetic brad's kind of vibe but that's optional and i actually really do i'm in love with this look everyone loves it wherever i go whether it be church the mall work wherever so it's a very easy style and i hope you guys try it i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like remember to subscribe to my channel for more of these kind of videos as well and thanks so much for watching again guys